The anti-theft protection in Android was an excellent feature introduced from Android Lollipop onwards. Most of the AOSP ROMs are having this feature, but it really becomes the nightmare if we forgot the pin. In my case, I had an anti-theft password in the past and changed my SIM card. Later, when I switched on my device, I got stuck at this lock screen. I forgot the pin. You might have done something similar. That's why you are watching this. A simple factory reset won't fix this issue because the pin is written in the system partition. So it's time to fix this. The requirements are stock firmware for your specific device. I'm using Micromax Unitor in this tutorial. SP flash tools, the drivers must be installed properly. You can watch my tutorial to do it, a USB cable and of course the lock device. Before you proceed, keep in mind that this process will erase your system partition, which will result in invalid IMEA problem. You can simply restore your IMEA if you already have a backup with you, otherwise you need to write IMEA to the system manually. It's not a big deal, simply watch this tutorial made by myself. Now, here we go. First of all, open SP Flash Tools. Then go to Scatter Loading and choose the scatter files from your stock ROM, that is, the stock firmware you have downloaded for your specific device. Then choose the Format All plus Download option. Choosing this will do the job. Click on Download. Now remove your battery from your device and connect it to the laptop using your USB cable. Yeah, it's working. It will take up to 5 minutes for my device. It may vary for your device. You have to wait a bit. Okay, I forwarded my video and here you go. Uh, when we finish the job, there will be a green tick in the end, which shows download OK. Now remove the USB cable and insert your battery, put the back cover on and turn on the device. Keep it aside, the first time boot will take some time. For me. It's up to 7 minutes. Yeah, here we go. Here it is. There is no privacy protection password. You can set a new password from the security options. If you do this again, please do remember the password. Otherwise, it will be another nightmare for you. If this video helped you, hit the like button 